live. I don't think you're such a great example. Lakin! Lakin, come back here! Lakin! Well, Augusta, I am more and more convinced what a great relationship you have with your daughter. Don't you dare start in on me. If you hadn't been jet-setting all over the world... Oh, I thought you could handle it. But obviously I was wrong. Please, this squabbling is not going to help matters. What have you done to help? The two most powerful men in Santa Barbara, and you can't even control your own children. Uh, uh, may I remind you, Augusta, that this whole thing started with you cooking her pet pigeon. Oh, it started long before that. Oh, then why didn't you do something about it long before that? We're not going to resolve anything by blaming one another. I'm going to resolve this right now. I will not tolerate not knowing where my daughter's sleeping and with whom. Now just get her and bring her home. Five years, Dominic. Get your hands out. You are my only witness and you didn't come forward. Put the gun away, Joe. You let me go to prison. You were with me in that corridor outside the Capitol study five years ago. We had both heard a loud noise. We ran into the study. I went to check him. When I looked up, you had gone. Why the hell did you disappear? Why didn't you come forward to testify for me? Joe, put that gun away. Someone's going to get hurt. I'm not taking orders from you anymore. You're going to do what I say now. You'll clear my name if it's the last thing you ever do. Admit it, damn it. You were in the study with me. I'm sorry. Playing tricks on your mind, Joe. Has it? Then why have you been so interested in trying to help me? I have my reasons. Well, maybe you'll tell the police. Because I'm taking you into the station. Maybe they'll help, help your memory. Okay. It was me. I was there with you. Why didn't you let them convict me? Why didn't you testify? Answer me! I was a fugitive. I would have been in deep trouble. Trouble? What kind of trouble? You owe me five lost years. Five years of living hell. And what about my family? What about my family, the agony they went through? You owe them a mortgage on their house. What about Kelly? You made me lose the only woman I ever loved. Why? Tell me why. I had no choice. I would have given anything if it could have been another way. I would have given anything if Kelly had you not. Just what did Channing mean to you? What do you mean by that? Why did you visit his grave? Well, I can't answer that. The whole thing caused me grief for a very long, long time. Why? Why? There's just one thing I don't understand. How you know so much about the Capwells. Tell me. I've done a lot of research. I don't believe that for a second. Get under those stairs. Get under the stairs and take out your wallet. Into your pockets. Put it on that step. Put it up there. Come on! I want to know who you are. Ted is not that kind of boy. You don't know your own son. You obviously don't know your daughter. Any fool can see that Lakin's been taking advantage of my brother. Mason, your innocent brother has been chasing Lakin all over town. Augusta, I have been extremely patient with you two. Now, will you please leave my house? Cece, you know, I kind of feel sorry for you. You know, you, you don't even begin to understand your children, do you? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, you fool. I'm fool. I understand my children. Yeah? That's enough, Lionel. I'll, I'll, I'll get to you in a second. Listen, listen, Cece, you may understand uh, mergers and takeovers and pushovers and all that corporate mumbo-jumbo, but you don't know a thing about human emotion, do you? I can't believe you, Lockridge. You're ridiculous! I'm ridiculous. Yes, you are. Way out no. of line, Lionel. Now listen, Mason, isn't it about time you stopped being such a daddy's boy? For a fellow as tall as you, you sure standing in your father's shadow. You may regret saying that. At least your brother... Has a mind of his own. Get out of the house, Lionel. <laughs> Mason, whatever he says, we have to consider the source. A man who lives like you, the details I won't go into, 
A man who squanders the family fortune does oh. nothing for anybody. Oh. All he does is bring misfortune on himself and his whole family. Would you please stop bickering, you two? I just want my daughter back now. Look, we'll be out of here in just a second, okay? Teddy, you remember that pigeon you gave me? Yeah, Tina. Well, how's she doing? You remember when I went to Los Angeles to help set my mom was? Ted, she cooked my pigeon. She what? I don't believe it. What kind of a person? I know, could... I can't believe she'd do it either. I... Sometimes I don't understand her. She makes me so mad. Look, it's okay, it's okay to be angry at your mother. I mean, parents aren't always right. No, it's just I, uh, <laughs> I've never really stood up to them before. I mean, this is the first time I've ever really defied them. I've wanted to, though. Sure. And you had to. You know, you can only be a kid for so long. I know, it's stupid, but I'm scared. Now listen, there's nothing to be afraid of. Look, let's get out of this house. We'll go someplace where we can be alone. Oh, is that what you're afraid of? I don't know. Well, don't be. Please. Well, where are we going? Well, one place we're not going is the Cafro Hotel. Don't know where we'll end up. It doesn't matter anyway. I'm smiling with you. Problem. Then why did you call me to come over here then? Oh, uh. Well, I've. Uh, I've had some wonderful news about Joey. He, um. He says he's found his alibi. He's found the witness, but the, the man will be his alibi. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's just, uh. I'm a little worried. Why? You think maybe it's a hoax? No. No, it's a... He's been gone such a long time. No, I, I can't do anything about that. No. What's with the gun? Well, nothing. I mean, there's nothing with the gun. <laughs> the gun's gone. Joe took the gun. Why? Now, nothing's going to happen, John. Oh, you don't know that. He took the gun before, and nothing happened. He's on parole, and he takes a gun? That's just plain stupid, Marissa. Well, what do you expect me to do? Well, I know what I'm going to do. John, what? What are you... John, no! No, John, don't call the police. Satana. Hey. Uh, well, hi. Just where have you been? This is a hospital. You're supposed to be in bed. Oh, I know. I just... Walk. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's nice to see you were feeling better. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ow. Ooh. Oh. Oh. You know, I still can't get over it. Uh, just last week I had the same room, the same bed.
and I asked him to send me a bunkmate with a body just like this. Oh. Somebody's timing's off. I know. <laughs> well, there's a simple explanation. It's just a classy place, one customer per bed. No, it's pretty tech, if you ask me. <laughs> it's good to see you. I brought you something. Oh, Cruz, it's so sweet. You didn't have to. I know, it's just the kind of guy I am, you know, nice, thoughtful, sensitive. Humble. I can be that, too. When? When I have to. Which is hardly ever. Yeah, why lie? It's almost impossible for me to be humble. <laughs> Aren't you going to open it? Why, well, are you sure you won't be embarrassed? I give good gift. I'm sure you do. Having it all. Don't you want it all? I have it all. Talk about being humble. <laughs> Aren't you a little rambunctious to be in the hospital? I know that you know, but they don't. Maybe they think snakes that bite aren't that good for you. Ooh. And I'll bet they take a dim view of people who fall off of horses they weren't supposed to be riding. Well, they're awfully stuffy, don't you think? Yeah, I've never liked hospitals. I don't trust places that only allow one in a bed. Hi. Hi, Rosa. Oh, no, no. Oh, I didn't realize you had a visitor. I'll just come back. Oh, no, I'm just about to leave. No, stay, Mama. Really, have a seat. And uh, don't you worry about this one. She's got the constitution of a bull. Thanks for the gift. Anytime. Just don't make a habit of this. Okay. Bye. He likes you a lot, Santana. Oh, Mama. Cruz likes a lot of women. No, this is something special. How can you tell? The way he looks at you. I like Cruz. He's kind of a hero. He's arrogant. No, no. I've known him a long time. He comes from a good family. So do we. I know. That's why he would be a good man for you. Mama, stop it. Cruz is just a good friend, that's all. Oh, we'll see. Mama, stop it. You don't have to do that. I just want to make you comfortable, darling. Just sit down. Mama. Do you remember when Sophia died? Cece's wife? Yeah, I was about nine then. Why do you bring that up? Oh, I just... I uh, was thinking about Cece. You know, he really loved her, didn't he? She meant everything to him. Mom, I want you to tell me everything about Sophia. Everything that you can remember. Well, at least we're all in agreement that the friendship, or whatever it is, has got to end. Mom, Dad, Lakin, darling. Ted and I are leaving now. Honey, honey, listen, Lakin, just, just come home with us, okay? She's not going home with you, Mr. Lockridge. Huh? Ted, I think you better let Lakin go with her parents. No. No. Hey, look, I'm trying to make things clear. She's coming with me, Dad. Now, son, this whole thing has gotten way out of hand. I'm sorry I have caused you so many problems, Mr. Capwell. Now, Lakin, just be a good girl and go home with your parents. No, I'm not a child. I can make my own decisions. Don't be silly. You are a child. Mom, please. You know, we're not just some dumb kids. That... Look, would you call your son off, Cece? I wasn't finished. You know, if you want us to respect you... You have to respect us. Now, Ted, this, this whole thing is ridiculous. I mean, it's Dad. enough. Man, you can't just yell at us and send us off to our rooms anymore. Ted, I think you owe Dad an apology. Just stay out of this, Mason. I will not have my child run off with some oversized, impertinent... I'm not running off. Why can't you trust us? Oh, honey, I trust you. I just don't know Ted very well. That's well, I trust him, Daddy. That's all that counts. Lakin, you cannot trust a Capwell ever. Ted, let's go. No. Ted! You're not going to let them just go. Yeah. Yeah, I think she's made up her mind. She's a child, Lionel. You're wrong, Augusta. You're very wrong. Our children are growing up before our eyes. That son of mine, he's got a lot of guts. John, don't do this. Please. Please. 
Violence breeds violence, Marissa. Joe killed once. He could be doing it again. He never killed anyone. I couldn't stop him the first time, but now maybe I can. I don't want another death hanging over my head because I didn't do the right thing. What about what's right for Joe? I'm talking about saving someone's life, Marissa. John, look, if, if you report this to the police, they'll revoke Joe's parole. They'll send him back to prison. Is that what you want? But if it saves a life... What about Joe's life? Save his life. You think I enjoy turning my son in? Then don't do it. John, give him a second chance. Wait just a little longer, please. I can't wait all night. He'll be home soon. I know it. He better be. I remember Sophia's blonde hair, and she was always so tan. Mm-hmm. Muy hermosa. She used to play a lot of tennis, too, didn't she? Sophia was very athletic. That's why Cece built the court. I don't know why you need to know about Sophia. I just want to know Cece better. It's important to me, that's all. How did they meet? I'm not sure. A few months after C.C. divorced Pamela, they started dating. How long after did they get married? Not long. Sophia and C.C. had a whirlwind romance. C.C. loved her very much. You know, I remember her clothes. She was always dressed so perfect. And what was that perfume she used to wear? Lovey. C.C. used to take her to Paris just to buy her perfume. Did she have a nickname for C.C.? Why do you want to know that? Look, I want to win Cece's confidence. I want him to like me. Darling, it's one thing to win a man's confidence. But you're doing something else. Why are you always so suspicious? I don't like this. You want to know about Sophia so that you can manipulate Cece. I'm not doing any such thing. How can you do this to the father of the boy you once loved? Mama, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just doing what I have to do. And as your mother, I will never stop telling you what I believe to be true. Please, don't play with people's memories, darling. Cece took my baby, and he knows where it is, and I'm going to find him. Why were you at the Capitol House five years ago? I was a friend. A friend of Channing's? I was there to celebrate his triumph. How did you wind up down in the corridor? I was looking to study. Why? To use the phone. I want to hear your version of what happened. Go on. Go on. You were trying to get to the study. Then I heard something. What did you hear? I don't know. I've never seen a dead person. I couldn't stand it. It made me sick. But you watched me to go to Channing. You saw me check to see if he was alive. Yes, yes, I watched until I couldn't anymore. Channing. Call an ambulance. Phone's on the desk. Is he alive? I don't know. Now, my friend, we're going to get the police over here. sign of him? No, not yet. It's still early. Yeah. You want to play cards or something just to pass the time? Settle your nerves? No, I couldn't concentrate. You know, 
John I married couldn't have made that phone call. Yeah, well, he's still around here someplace, the John you married. Hello? Mason? This is Joe Perkins. I called the police and they put me through to you. Yeah, I ask that any business having to do with you be directed to me immediately. Well, I called the cops because I want them at a warehouse at the corner of Gutierrez and Milpas. You in trouble again, Perkins? No. I have someone here, a man who's going to make a statement about Channing's murder. You already had your trial, Perkins. Yeah, but I didn't have my witness, remember? Now I've got it. He'll prove I wasn't the murderer. Just uh, pull him out of a hat or something? No, Mason. I've been looking for this guy for a long time. Look, just get the police over here now. Mason? Kelly, I didn't know you were here. Was that Joe? Yeah. He called the police and they put him through to me. He says he has his witness. He's found the man who could prove that he didn't kill Channing. You know what that could mean, Kelly? Joe's innocent? Well, we don't know for sure yet. Frankly, I doubt that we can believe anything Perkins says. Who knows what goes on in his mind? Joe could be innocent? Whoever you are, Dominic. Whatever you did in the past, whatever your criminal record is, it's all going to come out. If you deny it, they can get it out of you. The truth is going to come out. Do you know what this means to me, Dominic? For five years, my mother and my sisters haven't been able to hold their heads up. Do you know what this means to me? Yeah, I think I do. It means my father will finally believe me. Maybe my folks will get back together. Kelly. Kelly can stop hating me now. Maybe I should go, huh? No, 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 no. Stay. I'm glad you came. Something wrong? No, no, nothing. <laughs> I can't put anything past you, can I? Nope. Come on out with it. Oh, just uh, Ted. A few father-son problems. Hey, well, show me a kid that doesn't cause his father problems from now and then, uh, and I'll show you a kid that's not normal. <laughs> Since when do you know so much about kids? I've been thinking about my son. Listen, I want you to know I'm at peace knowing that you're taking care of him. I'm very grateful to you. Believe me. He's a very happy child. I'm glad. Well, I'll be getting out of here tomorrow. Really? So mm. soon? Mm-hmm. They know better than to keep me cooped up in this hospital. Besides, then I can get back to decorating the Capwell Hotel. Mm, I don't know. I don't think you should rush it. Well, do I have a choice? I mean, who knows what's going on there without me? We can survive. Peter and Mason have... Everything under control. Well, that's exactly what I'm worried about. You know, quite frankly, it's their judgment that... I'm a little bit... <laughs> what do you mean? Well, you know, I'm not so sure that I trust them as far as the design, their taste goes. You know, I, I would really like to consult with you personally on those matters... I mean, after all, Cece, it is your money. 
I like your attitude, and I agree. You know, Santana, when I'm here with you, uh, I don't know, I, I, I guess I, I enjoy these moments that we're... Cruz. Hey, Cruz. <laughs> Party time. What did you bring this time? A fine champagne, vintage uh, 78. Oh, that's a good year. I would have brought another glass, Mr. C, if I'd have known you were going to be here. Oh, I can use a paper cup. No, no, no. I have to be going. Thank you, Cruz. Now you take care of yourself. Get some rest. I will. Thanks for stopping by. You sure you don't want a little taste? No, thank you. I'll uh, see you later. How did you get that in here? I have my ways. <laughs> they don't allow alcohol in hospitals. Really? Actually, I've heard that. Here you go. Whoa. To Santana. <laughs> Let's see. May her ego never cause her head to turn toward the wrong man. The wrong man? Who's the wrong man? If you don't know, I'm not going to put any ideas in your head. Je veux que tu fasses suivre ses enfants. Tu veux bien te détendre, Gustave. La chose la plus critiquable que laquelle n'ait jamais faite, c'était porter un pantalon taché. I don't trust that Capwell kid. And I don't want our daughter losing her virginity tonight. Well, face it, honey, she's going to lose it sometime. We're losing our daughter. Just the way your mother lost you to me. Ah, well, that was different. I knew what I was doing. You sure did. When was it? How long ago? Huh? <laughs> well, what the hell are you doing in my bedroom? Oh, that's funny. I thought it was our bedroom. Yes. Remember well, the blissful I'm... times we had in this room? But Lionel, I want you to get out now because I want to go to bed. Well, funny, so do I. I mean it. Oh, out. Come on. No, I can't. I yes. just can't. Lionel. What if I refuse? Huh? Lionel. Wait a what? minute. Wait. What? Just a second. What are you doing? It's still there. The claim to my bed. Look at this. On this bed, let no other man cast a center side line. You are such a baby, it's embarrassing. Oh, come on, honey. You weren't embarrassed at the time. Remember, you said it'd be forever. Nothing is forever, Lionel. You know that. Oh, come on, darling. You remember it was funny after you. Don't you know? Huh? Oh, oh uh, well, all right. Let's talk about the morning. Sorry, it's so uncomfortable there. That's okay. Just a second here. The seat doesn't go back any further. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I've never slept in a car before. <laughs> you know, I know you're not going to believe this, but this is my first time, too. I mean, in a car. Uh, sleeping. Like, like this. <laughs> I know what you meant. Well, good night, Ted. could have a little bit of the blanket. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here. <laughs> hey, you're freezing. I'm just a little bit. Okay. You know, this is stupid. Well, we can't spend the night like this. I mean, we gotta find a motel or something. I mean, we can't sleep. We're both uncomfortable. It's cold. You're right. I am? We're part. It's cold. We're both uncomfortable. We can't sleep. That's all? Maybe we should find a motel or something. You really think we should? Yeah. Well, let's go. <laughs>
Kelly, please tell me what's wrong. I can't right now. Come on, Kelly. People don't go running out in the middle of the street when nothing's wrong. I, I almost ran you over. Please talk to me. Kelly, I love you. What is... What is happening to us? Nothing's happening to us. Kelly. Something's changed. Look at me. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Peter, I'm just confused. It's my problem. Look, let's go for a drive, huh? We'll go to the Riviera, maybe stop and have a drink on the way? No, I don't think so. Look, Peter, I just need to work things out. Kelly, don't go. Come on, stay and talk to me. I'll talk to you in the morning. Why don't you trust me? You know, I might be able to help you. I don't think anybody can help me right now. Okay, Peter. I just found out that there may be a chance that Joe didn't kill Channing. He might be innocent. Good thing Mr. C didn't stay. There wouldn't have been enough. It's good champagne. Yeah. Speaking of Mr. C, he seems quite taken with you. He saved my life. He's concerned, that's all. It's more than that. Don't be silly. You're imagining things. I don't think so. You're a very beautiful woman. He's not blind. Come on. Well, it's true, you do have a strange personality. talk with uh, Joe Perkins. He told me about a note he found. A note that Channing Jr. wrote to you. I don't want to talk about Channing. I did notice how you changed after Channing died, but I never realized just how close you'd been. Uh, you must have been going through the hardest time of your life when I was leaving town. Were you lovers? Why don't you just get out of here and leave me alone? I'm sorry. I know this is hard for you. Did Joe Perkins send you over here to, uh, to pump me for information? Of course not. Look, it's the end of the subject. Joe killed Channing. Hey, hey. I came here because I care about you. I want to know what happened to you while I was gone. I love Channing, and I've never been the same since. And I will never find anyone that I love the way I loved him. You mean to tell me you're never going to fall in love again? You're going to deny your feelings for anyone else? Look at yourself. What happened to the little girl who took my breath away? It's been five years, baby. That's a long time to be saving yourself from a dead man. You got a live one right here.
don't want you to be so mad. Ouch! I, 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 I want my bed! Oh, that's great! That's great! Help hey, feed me some more! Oh, oh, come on! Oh, all right, all right, hold it right there, hold it right there. Now, you, you don't love me, you love my nightclub. Right. Come on, come on, honey. Come on. Why not? Bring out You're the beast. So... Come on. All right, come on. all right. I'm going to sleep in Lakin's room. Since she is not coming home tonight. Oh. Sorry I didn't have a suite for you and the missus, Mr. Spielberg, but um, we uh, filled up pretty fast tonight. So what do you say? Well, um, <clears throat> what do you think, honey? This is it? That's all that I got. Maybe you should try the No Tell Motel of 101 apiece. Uh, we already tried it. Now, this is the only room in town. It's fine. Really. Well, okay, then. We'll take it. Good. Look, uh, why don't we do this up at the office? You can sign the register and, uh... I'll give you the key. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Right. Spielberg. How did you come up with Steven Spielberg? Well, who knows what a director looks like? <laughs> but Steven Spielberg? <laughs> uh. Uh. Hey, this is perfect. You checked this out yet? No. It's a little soft, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's semi-soft. It's better than the car, though. Oh, yeah, it sure is. <clears throat> Boy, I'm tired. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I am really tired. I'm so glad I caught you. Joe found his witness, his alibi. Oh, that's great. Now he can prove he's innocent. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I guess so. What did I tell you? You were so right to stick up for Joe. Well, you got to stick up for the people you care about. I wanted to believe him so badly. I know you did. 
you know, I'm so glad I was wrong. I just, I felt so guilty, just horrible that I doubted it. Listen, Kelly, you're talking to the wrong guy. Tell Joe. Hear that? They'll be here any second now. 